Hey everyone, uh, William Ryder here with RTR Precision. Gonna make a quick video on um, some data boards from Sun and Shadow. Uh, this is their Gen 2 on the right. This is their Gen 1 uh, on the left here. I've been running the Gen 1 for about a year, year and a half, pretty much ever since they first came out. Um, it's been a great data board. Uh, the Gen 2 has some very minor improvements. Uh, the only reason I went and bought a Gen 2 over the Gen 1 is because my wife's gonna get an NRL, she wants to try it out. So we're gonna let her try with this one, and they gave me an excuse to go buy a Gen 2. Um, so we'll see how she likes it. But back to the data boards here. What do you need a data board for? Uh, a couple of things. One, you can keep your dope in here, or you can keep it on the outside. Dope data previous engagement. So that way, once you know the range of your target, you can come up with a ballistic solution to shoot the target. Um, so once you range it, you need to write that down somewhere, right? So this goes on your forearm, and say the target is 8.3 mils. I'm gonna write 8.3. Uh, say the next target 7.2, I'll write 7.2. And what I do is I try to actually write them in an order similar to what I'm seeing them down range. Uh, so that way, once I've ranged them and I have to transition from the spotting device to the rifle, I am able to have some type of reference point to where they are. So what is different between the two? One is the way that the tabs here are protruding from the backside. What John has done is he has removed a portion of the webbing here, the padding, I guess is a better phrase. On the Gen 1, it sticks out a lot more past the sew line. See that? Whereas the Gen 2, it barely sticks out any. So it doesn't fold over on you, doesn't fold under, doesn't fold in, however you want to phrase it. And it doesn't get in the way of trying to grab this tab because it's recessed more. What do you need the tab for? Tab for is to hold your dope inside and your partner's dope down here if you're shooting uh, with a partner in a team type of environment. So that's one thing or a couple things that have changed is the way that the, ma the material on the backside here is put on. Um, the biggest improvement that I noticed though was how they're sewn together. So this, the way that the Gen 2 is sewn together allows it to lay flat. Whereas with the Gen 1, it wants to fold shut because of how it's sewn together. So why is that important? Well, if I have to flip out to look at you know my teammates' dope or any information that I wrote down in here, I don't want it flipping back and forth on me you know, because I'm moving my arm. See how that just wants to come back shut? Whereas with the Gen 2, I open it up and it stays there. Um, so that's the biggest thing. Looking forward to running this in a few matches this year. Um, John Hatcher down at Sun and Shadow makes a great product. Uh, highly recommend you try and go get one when they are in stock. Remember that code WRITER15 will save you 15% at leafotorifle.com. Once again, that's WRITER15. I know, I got crappy penmanship. So, y'all have a great day. If you got any questions, shoot me a message, drop a comment. Otherwise, talk to y'all later. Bye.